should let him take you for the night and see if that's where you want to be. A parent's main job is to protect their children and teach them right from wrong. And I told you, don't be a follower. You know it's wrong. But what happens when it is the kids who have to make sure parents are reprimanded for their bad behavior? It is ridiculous. You're leaving kids unattended while you're over here getting your little high fix. I've had enough of this. Arrested? You both are getting arrested. Why? Come on. But I'm not lying. He just lied to a police officer. Today, we're going to look at three cases where children helped put their parents behind bars. On March 27, 2023, 911 dispatch in Oklahoma City received a distressing call. A young child desperately needed their help. His mother, his sole guardian, was locked behind a bathroom door, unconscious and unresponsive. Her reason for being unresponsive may be the most heartbreaking detail of the whole case. EMT and firefighters were the first to arrive on the scene. While some stayed outside to comfort the small child who called 911, the others barged their way inside, desperate to get into the locked bathroom. You okay? Ma'am. She's moving. She's responsive. After I kicked the door in. Yeah. Hello? Police department of fire. Can you need to move? Okay. The drawers in the way. You all have better tools than I do. I'm mad that I was kicking the door. Yeah, something on the top Let's break the door, huh? Is that her right there? Yeah. Yeah, that's her. Right there. Yeah, she's getting smashed. Yeah, her, her legs. Under okay. Cut her leg or something more. Anybody got uh, anything to smash against it real quick? Yeah, nothing in here. That's heavy enough to do that. Hey! Hey! The minute officers finally manage to break down the door, they spot the mother laying on the floor with burnt tin foil in one hand and a lighter in the other. Immediately, it's obvious to them why she's unresponsive on the bathroom floor. So you have your tin foil there, brown all over your nose and wrist. <laughs> hey, how about we be some honest here since we got kiddos that called us and you're over here passed out. It is ridiculous. You're leaving kids unattended while you're over here getting your little high fix. That, that is ridiculous. So let's work with them and try to help some things out. You got any idea, ma'am? Identification, that's what. I do have. Okay, this is ridiculous. It is. It, it sure has is. nothing to do with me and my kids. Actually, it does. They're the one that called 911. Who called 911? The kids that were here. They're outside right now crying because they thought you were dead. What? Yeah, that's what. Oh, my gosh. What's your last name? My last name is Weber. Has nothing to do with me and in. What's your first name, Miss Weber? My name is Ashley. Can you spell that for me? S H L E Y. So who called? Your kids, or somebody's kids that were here, the young child. What's your date of birth, Ashley? I didn't hear you. The cops came and we spoke with them earlier. We explained all this to him. Did the police, the actual policeman? He apparently did so. drugs, and the lady that is over these apartments, which is my best friend's mother-in-law. Um, it's a judge, and we explained all this to her. Like she okay. was here, they had all this done. Okay, but let's so, let's focus. Let's focus. Can on right please now. again? Asking, can you shut I've, that door? Um, I, the neighbors has been nothing besides crazy since because, and that was because the people that owned here apparently it was a big old drug house before I got here, and I was not aware of that. I'm just trying to figure out why there's aluminum foil in the bathroom. And I was just in the bathroom, and apparently that's where he'd done that right up in that shelf. So, or not the shelf, the ceiling. Like, I literally just took my medicine and was getting ready to take a shower and get my kids. How did he do it in there, and how were you not able to leave the bathroom? Sir, I just got here. We were starting to clean everything to get out. The next thing I know, I was I took my medicine. You were passed out know, in the bathroom. Do you not hear what I'm saying? So how, you? how, did if, he just leave you passed out in he, the bathroom? Sir, he was not here. The cops just picked him up. The right. cops just got him within him, not functioning or not functioning with them or anything. I literally opened the door, took. It's a Jared Merritt name on there. So when, not, when was he taken away today? Oh, uh, like, around one, two o'clock. We we got here like maybe twenty minutes ago, and whenever we got here, you were. Passed Are you out. not hearing what I'm, I said? I, I just, you were unconscious. I just took my medicine, right. went to the bathroom what? to pee. 
Yes, my, it was, I take it three times a day. Apparently, that's where he had his medicine balled up in that with a foil, a, uh, didn't want to take a bag or whatever. I was literally on the pot sitting there within the time, and then the next thing I know, I was in the floor, and this has happened. When people are lying, they will often give excessive details in an attempt to make their story appear more authentic. In reality, it actually makes their story more unbelievable. The look you're about to see on this officer's face really says what they're all thinking. I was not willingly taking no medicine. Um, I was on the phone with my friend and I told her I was going to call him to work because all this crazy stuff has happened. Um, all he, the owner could say was there was this squatting Mexican that stayed here um, and that was, they, it was hell getting him out. I was not aware of any of this until um, all this started happening with the landlord and them when the HOA fees. And like I said, once again, um, the lady was literally a, a judge, like that's what she is, a retired judge. So her daughter-in-law has went to the prison, all this crap, and she was my best friend. Um, I was not aware that this, do this place was hot. I, my dad passed away. Went through a divorce and they offered to start renting this to me um, within month, in the month. And I thought it was just a good idea to start up here, start working at Mercy Hospital and just going from there. So, 105, you can look at my, you can look at my veins or all this crap. Um, Is it that strong? Whatever he had in that bottle, like that was all clipped up in my eye. For him to just be on my medicine and me take it and be whatever it happened. Is it that strong to do? Like, I, I don't know exactly what was in the bottle besides of what I heard y'all say. Shouldn't make a pass out. Not my medicine, I'm saying the stuff this powder stuff that was on my medicine in the bottle. What the powder was. They said it was fentanyl. That's what he was on. Well, if it was fentanyl, you want to be breathing right now. This would be a whole different situation. That's what he did. So it was powder form. He done it, got it right down here from the people above down below with their drug sellers. A fentanyl. So is that what you took? Huh? Is that what you took? Sir, I didn't take it willingly. Well. Did you not just hear what I said? No, I, I walked in after the fact. Can you not yell okay. at me? I'm so, just asking. Okay. So don't don't give me attitude either, okay? I walked in after the fact. I don't I don't I, I just showed up, okay? All I know is you were passed out. That's all I know. Okay, when you okay. get the rest of the story, we can talk because okay. you're not gonna I'm gonna right. argue. So then just keep your mouth shut then, okay? We're not we're not talking, I'm gonna ask you any questions or anything. Excuse me, I can talk. This okay. is my house. All right. And actually, um, could you step outside? No. Because you can step no. outside. Uh, unless you have a warrant, you're not no. supposed to. No, I, I, I have a legal okay. reason to be here. Okay, so. well, like I said, my mom, my mom is a judge. That's so fine. This is, a, that this is recorded, fine. so that's fine. That is completely fine. There's okay. no reason for you to trick me like that's I'm fine. a judge. I, I just got the guy out up here that was. Good. So, you do not have to I'm be disrespectful, and neither do I. Okay. Um, who am I speaking with? Are you the paramedic? Paramedic. paramedic? Okay, um, can I get a shirt on? Because I do not like treat, being treated by this officer like I am some freaking drug. Like, I have no clue who he is, and he's not going to come here and disrespect me in my home because okay, he's a cop. It has nothing, but he's not going to sit here and act like this to me in my home. 
This is ridiculous. Can we do a few more questions? Get it we over can. with, get a shirt we on, can. and get everything over with. We can, okay. but he's not going to treat me like what, I'm, I'm an LPN to at Mercy Hospital. What your like, What's your first and last name for me? My name is Ashley Weber. When Ashley returns with her shirt on, she wants to see her two children, but police have more questions for her. She discloses that allegedly she just kicked her ex-boyfriend out for using substances and she believes what she took was his. He had it all like in this bottle in uh with women in the pool. He had it all like in my nose. Yeah. To apparently, I guess, to hide what he was doing. I am literally clueless when it comes to medicine. I don't know until I started the people that did live here, they said if we find any drugs or whatever, um, it is from them and they said they had it hid in that wall right there. Is that that's where you had it? No, they said that's where they always get their drugs. Is oh, okay. Right there. We yeah. see that thing that comes up. Yeah. So anyways, um, it was all and all that happened and I guess that's where he was on it too. So when I figured out all this stuff, I said I would not allow this around my children and I um, was in the process of kicking him out and then he kind of flipped and was like to, almost to the process of like, um, I wouldn't say uh, hold it, like he would let me go as long as he was with me, if that right. makes any sense at all. Like, I, I would rather, I'd be able to go through my day as long as he was there. Yeah. So anyways, after I get the kids, literally when we went to get something to eat, the ten dollars in gas and came back here to take my medicine and I was still paying. Um, he had lemon pool, the whole box, and he used that drawer right there, the far drawer. Over here. Yeah, always his drawer. That's what he is. What's his name again? Michael Norman. But he's never been in trouble up here or anything uh -huh. until this happened. And the people downstairs is Daniel and Lacey. I don't know Daniel's last name, but I do know he hates me because. We offered him fentanyl more than once, uh -huh. more, and because we had a dog, that's, which is my mom's now. But <clears throat> every time we'd go walk the dog, yeah. he was out there on working on his. Uh, I don't even know. It's a silver SUV type thing. I can't tell you, but he would be up there till like three o'clock in the morning, and um, every time that he would be in contact with Mikey, it was over drugs. Right. It was over fentanyl. Until finally I caught him, flip, and um, that's why he's out. That he was using my medicine bottles to put his stuff in. Gone completely, which is not a big deal to me. Like, I don't take them every day. It was literally as needed. And it was usually, like, if I needed it, it was the time to be, like, when I came home to go to sleep. And it wasn't every day use. But this all happened. Like, I came home, took my medicine, was getting ready to take a shower, and packing, you see the boxes, packing his stuff. Yeah. And then I guess this happened in that process time. Scary. It is scary that I literally walked in there and then I woke up and y'all was here. Yeah. So that's how bad. I guess that's how strong this stuff Whatever is. It was. Because Ashley refuses to go to the hospital, the paramedic on the scene has to give her some disclaimers. She expresses concern about the powder found on the pills and seems to think that this will be the end of her interaction with law enforcement. Pills having the powder on them. I can't say for sure whether to continue or not taking them. I can't give you advice on that because I don't know what the powder is. So what, what was your first name? And I'm sorry, I, I, like I said, I walked in after the fact. You know, I, I, yeah, all right. I knew whenever I was coming here is that you, there was a you know, female passed out in the bathroom. Kids were in the home and they were they were concerned. Right. Okay, they, they actually thought that you were that you were gone. Okay, so they were scared. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I show up here. You're obviously, you know, I've been breathing, talking and, and so on. Um, I, I don't know what was what's going on. I don't know the backstory. Um, so my name is Officer Ochoa, Oklahoma nice City. Okay. What is your name? Ashley. Ashley. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ashley. So here's what's gonna happen. Okay. Like I said, I don't have details as to what happened or anything. There's another officer that was here before me, as well as my supervisor. Okay. So what I need you to do right now, what we're what we are gonna do right now, actually, is you and I are gonna go downstairs. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have you sit in my car while we get while i speak to other officers and see what what we're going to do okay obviously we need to make arrangements for like he said you know he'd like another adult to be here with your kids you know be concerns and, and all these things okay right. now for you to sit in my car you, you you will be in cuffs in my car okay you can't sit in the back seat of my car without without cuffs can okay per policy excuse me can y'all not come in here and sit with me i'm not no we'll, we'll have to go down there okay and, and and your kids are down there i mean i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna cuff you in front of your kids 
you know, but I'll, 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 I'll have you sit in my car and your kids. I, I, I said, I saw them when I came up here, but I don't know exactly where they're at downstairs, okay? Um, um, I mean, I don't feel comfortable going in and getting Okay, cuffed. well, I'm not too bad. Like, well, we're okay. going to stand up and do cuffs. Huh? We're going to go ahead and stand up, I don't care. We're gonna, I don't care how comfortable you feel or not feel. Huh? We're standing up. Okay, okay. I mean, what am I going to do? What is going on if I get as far as... Can you like send me what I'm getting? Like, am I going to jail yes. or for what? Are chomp, chomp. Because oh, I took my medicine and it had been. Oh, are you serious? 100% serious. This is not okay. You admitted to MSA. It's that was in your hand. I did not admit to that. That was a lie. I told okay. y'all that he just went to jail this morning. Okay. This is ridiculous. Sure is. Like, y'all. Sir, please do not be rude to me. I don't know. I'm not. I pulled out. You want me to be rude? I could have left, pulled you in front of your kids. I pulled over here so your kids don't see you in handcuffs. Okay, that That's not I'm being rude. That's being considerate. I'm not explaining what y'all's doing. I like, just told you you're going to jail. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Like, mm. y'all are sitting there saying this shit, and it had to do with him, and it's spitting all powder with all my medicine from the people downstairs. You way. smoke your pills, huh? I don't smoke my pills. Like, y'all are not listening to me. Okay, well, I was there when I kicked in the door. And I opened and, and y'all in. They, they did not. In. You did not. I didn't let you fire, in. Fire tore the door off the hinges. I'm talking about this morning. We weren't here this morning. This is this afternoon. I'm talking about when in the he afternoon. went to Oh, my God. This is ridiculous. Like, you're sitting here saying I said I smoked my deal. That was not said either. Okay. Well. That was not I'll tell you. said. Like, what the f*** is going on? You know, I think inside your body or inside your cavities or anything like that. No drugs hitting up inside your body. I'm a nurse. No, I don't. Okay. Ashley was arrested for child and her two children were put in someone else's custody. In addition, Ashley already had a state misdemeanor warrant out for previous neglect of family. While Ashley's neglect of her children is shocking, in the next case on our list, the child was nearly put in the hospital by his own mother. Even more unbelievable, she seems to think she's done nothing wrong. Oh, oh my God! Put your hands oh behind your back. On March 20th, 2022, officers responded to calls of three juveniles throwing debris in the center of a roadway late at night. By the end of the night, it wouldn't be the kids in handcuffs. It would be a mother and teacher whose own son shows that even the most troubled people can raise an upstanding kid. Officers arrived on the scene to find the three teenagers on the side of the road. The road was littered with everything from broken bottles to rocks to metal. Taking a book out of a good parenting journal, the officers decided to approach this as a learning lesson for the teens. Hey, come over here. What's, what's the phone number, man? What do you mean you don't know? How old are you? Having fun messing up your car? You don't know where you live, I know. phone number. I don't know the do you have parents? Yeah. Where do they live? Did, did, they, did they throw a window? Um, my, my, mom, my mom just got out of jail and my dad got out of jail. But they don't live for this. What's wrong with you? Say it again. J -A -S 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 you think I'm playing with you? Why would you throw stuff in the road and people driving their cars up and down the road? What if somebody drives over that stuff and hits a tree and kills themselves because they tried to avoid hitting that stuff? That, that's, that's, that's good, right? That's nice, right? And you mess up your whole life. How old are you? Is? 14. You're 14. He don't know how to spell his last name. 14 years old, 8th grade. But you know how to throw stuff in the road and mess people's cars up. Hey, y'all keep, keep on doing bad stuff like this and you're going to end up going to jail. And you, you're a small dude, man. Jail ain't going to be a good place for you. I'll tell you that right now. The kids are not going to take all your food. You're going to be smaller than what you are. Go ahead. Start cleaning up. Help them, help them clean it up. No, clean the road up. I don't care about that. Clean everything y'all do in the road. I want the road to look just like it was looking before it came. You don't know your last name, and you don't know a number. So where, where I supposed to take you at? Jail? I can't leave you out here. I don't want to hear that. So you don't know how to spell your last name. You don't know your mom's real name, and you don't got a phone number. So you know I'm going to take y'all out. If y'all can't get your stuff again, I'm going to take y'all to jail. All three of y'all going to go in the backseat of my car. Y'all not in his car. His car's way up there. And y'all not walking up there anymore. Is that where y'all want to go at? Oh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not here to scare you or none of that. I'm, I'm legitly asking, is that where y'all want to go? So y'all better get your information together. And if you don't, I'm going to take y'all somewhere. I'm going to take y'all where y'all want to go at. Y'all want to go to jail. Because if y'all didn't want to go to jail, you'd be at your house 
in the house or hanging out at each other's house or whatever you'd be doing. You wouldn't be out here throwing all these br um, bushes and all this stuff in the road and rocks and having a bottle of alcohol. I don't want to hear we found it. Y'all been drinking? No. Why your eyes all watery? Oh yeah, your eyes red too, man. I've sweating. What? This is sweat. I am. What am I talking about sweat? Your eyes watery and your eyes look watery. See, I've been drinking. Oh. What grade are you in? I don't do breath tests. Eight? Take what grade are you in? Uh, eight. I don't do a breath test. How old are you? When you go to jail, they'll do that for you. Fifteen? When y'all go up to the jail tonight, y'all can go in there with the killers. There's, there's kids just like y'all that, that kill people and y'all can go live with them. And they're bigger than y'all too. The tough love hypothetical lessons from the officer are abruptly cut off by a real life lesson rolling onto the scene. Seeing another car approach at a high rate of speed, the officer is forced to quickly yank the kids off the hood of the car in case there's an impact. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You almost ran into our car. We got kids up here. What are you doing? Go shut the car off. Put the car in park. Put your car in park. Put your car in park. Put it in park. Put it in park. Put the car in park. What, I, what are you not understanding simple I, instructions? I know. I know. Oh, my There's, God. You almost ran into us. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Unlock the car. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. It's, oh, my God. It, 2204, we're gonna have no. traffic at the oh same god. location. Oh my god, oh my god. That uh, Masood is out with the juveniles. No, I. Hey, I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. What do you mean? I don't. Get your driver license, your proof of insurance, and your registration. Driver license, proof of insurance, and registration. Get those. Yes. No, I don't wanna hear it. Get those items I'm requesting. What? Put the window down, ma'am. Put the window down. I am. I am. Okay, and I'm, get the stuff I'm requesting. I am. I am. Why is the window not down? Put your window down! Don't do it, honey. Uh, it's, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. He's I'm, not even in a seatbelt in the, in the car, what? and you're driving like that. Oh my god, he's... Who is what? Shut, shut your car off. Turn your car off. I'm not going to ask you again. If I have to tell you again, you're going to get out of the car. Where are you coming from? Uh, we went, we uh, went stop looking at him. House. Look at me. Oh my God, I'm at my friend's house. He's like... You okay in the backseat, son? I'm not mad at you, okay? Oh We're just a little... Do you, 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 do you see how close you are to this yes, police car? I do. I do. Do you know how fast you were going? I had to pull those three kids off the hood of that car because you were so close. Rear-ending the car. It's it's nighttime. It's dark, and there's a bunch of blue, red, and white flashing lights. And you got this close to a police car going the speed you were going. Where have you been drinking? I, I didn't. I'm telling you, we were at my okay. house. Okay. Okay. It doesn't matter. Can I give give that deputy the information? Hey, y'all need to stay at that car, okay? Stay in where you're at, okay? Just don't stay by the car. Ma'am, I'm going to ask you one more time. Driver license, proof of insurance, and a registration. You still haven't given me those items yet. Ma'am, you know you were speeding. I thought no, I... No, I, I didn't. I'm like... Ma so you're saying that I am... Um, no, I, I, I I'm I didn't not, see you I'm, speeding. That's what you're telling me. You almost ran no, into the car. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing anything. Have you had anything to drink tonight? The officer can smell alcohol on her breath, and the clear distress from her son in the back seat only makes matters worse. Nearby, another officer sees an opportunity to use this as a lesson. I know we you think three kids on the side of a dark lit road throwing stuff in the middle of the road, this lady would have plowed right through the three of you. And we would have had to call your parents and tell them that we got three dead kids on the side of the road. You understand? Yes, sir. Okay, I know you get, you're young, you're having a good time, you guys think, you know, whatever. Whose parent is this? Yeah. Ma'am. No. Had... He just tonight. lied to a police officer. Right? Yes. She did? Yes. You feel unsafe in the car? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get you out of the car, okay? Let you come out and hang out with us. Hey, hey Masood! Hey Masood! 
Come come over here and get the kid out of the back seat. He said he don't really feel that safe in the car. Yes, he does. He just said he don't feel safe. He said he's in the middle. So he wants to get out of the car. And he said, don't feel safe. Hey, stop looking at him and stop talking to him. Talk to that deputy. Hey, come, come here, man. You can't lie to a police officer. Just come here, I'm man. I'm not lying to a police officer. You have had something to do wrong. I did, but I'm not lying. No, you just, you, you lied to me. Oh, my God. You lied to me. <laughs> So, man, what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you step out of the vehicle. From uh, My mom was at her friend's house. Okay. And um, we were coming home, and then I saw the cop car, and then I saw I told her to stop, and then it was. And I was like. Okay. Just as the officer is trying to comfort the drunk driver's son, one of the parents of the teenagers arrives, escalating the situation even further. I'm gonna have you stand, I'm gonna have you stand behind this patrol car right here, okay? You just look at the house. Okay, let me you no longer at my house. house. You no, 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 Okay, he's got no, nothing to do no, with it. No, no one at the house anymore. Oh my God. Here, go ahead and step out, of, step out of the vehicle for me. Step out of the car, ma'am, and I'm gonna talk to you outside of the car. You're gonna come to the front hood of your car. Step out, okay? Shut your car door. Shut your car door. Ma'am, shut your car door. Shut your car door. Here, you, you, you're, not, you're not responding. Come to the back. Come to the back of your car. You're not responding. I don't want you to get hit by a car. That's why, man. Have you come over here? Step around that way. Come to the front of your car. Ma'am, come to the front of your car. You're not, you're not, you're not. It's like you're not getting nothing I'm telling you. You have a longer at my house. You have a longer at my house. Hey. Here, lean up against your car right here. Lean up against your car right here. Okay. Obviously, your friends obviously don't know how to handle themselves. And I told you, don't be a follower. You know it's wrong. What if it was me in the car? What if it, you guys threw something at me in the car? What if well, it was this, my car? Ma'am, this is a perfect example. This lady, we have flashing lights on. She's coming, almost rear ends this car with the three of them. I had to grab them and pull them off the car. It's dark, and we got flashing lights. This lady, I'm pretty sure, is drunk. Oh, well, right on top of it. And, but, and that's and another perfect example. Thank if you. they're out in the side of the road throwing stuff and there's no flashing lights, this lady would have ran through all of them. How much did you have to drink tonight? I was at a dinner party at my friend's okay. house. Okay. Two drinks of what? vodka. Okay. How long ago was that? <laughs> oh my God. No, two hours. Like, you can go. Like, uh, you can call them. Ma'am, I'm, I'm talking to you right now. I'm not oh, worried about your please. friends. I'm asking you a simple question. <laughs> Oh, I Yankee. We're dealing with uh, I'm not drunk. I'm incident. so not. Oh, God. My kid. I swear to God. How many did you have? No, I swear to God. I've had two drinks. Ma'am. Son. I'm not. Ma I know. Ma I know. He was at the house. Okay. So, two hours ago. Okay. Ma'am, talk to me. Don't worry about what's behind us. No, I do worry about what's wasn't worried about when you got behind the wheel of a car really? and operated. No, don't do that. Don't right. do that. So, ma'am, right now, Stop. right now, based off of your, your, my observations of the way you're driving and almost rear-ending my car. I didn't rear into your almost. car. I'm way up behind okay. you. Okay, ma'am, you Stop. were speeding and. Stop. Okay. Please. I'm, I'm going to continue what I'm saying. Based off of what you're. Ma'am, right here. That's it. We got. Who's so, yelling at Ma'am. Who's yelling? Who's this person? The chaos is only made worse for the innocent son, who is simply trying to give officers information about his mother. His responsibility and emotional intelligence seem to be far beyond his mom's. How much did you have to drink? Um, I don't know, because I was mostly hanging out with my friend. This is what I should do. Okay. This is what I should do. Remember when I told you about Juvie? Remember when I told you they put you, I should let him take you for the night? and stick you over there and see what it's like being with all those kids that don't have their parents, who disobey, who can't follow rules, and see if that's where you want to be the whole rest of your life and your future. So no, I should, I should let him take you for the night and stay there for a night or two and see how you like it. Hey, stop, worry about yourself. It's got nothing to do with you. Really? Yes. Oh my God. 
This is the second time I have had a deputy have to call me and once at work. Yes, I do. I'm do you think that's fair? I'm so disappointed with you. They are not allowed to the house anymore. Your Xbox is gone for a month. I don't want to hear anything. I'm going to start putting cameras up in the house because you know, I can't trust you. You pull up behind this Mustang? I'm going to go home. I'm not drunk. Please let me go home. I'm a teacher. I'm at school. I'm at the freaking high school. Please. I'm not a mess. Please. At this point, another officer arrives to the wildly confusing, disastrous scene. Oh my God. Uh, all right, I'll tell you Please. what we got so far. Um, Please. Please. Me and Masu, we got this blocked off because we have debris that was in the road. Oh my God. Um, this car was coming at a high rate of speed and I promise you, I barely saw it, and Masu's like, hey, this car is about to hit us. And uh, we just stopped the car. Right she's uh, not she's, she's not retaining anything we're telling her. She's not be, she's not getting the information we needed. It took her a long time to get it. Uh, she, appear, she appears to be impaired. And she's she's all over the place. She started screaming and stuff, so that's why we got another person. I just so, want to go home. Ma'am, I'm going to continue what I was asking you. Okay. I just want to go home. Ma'am, ma'am, can you focus for a second? Just for a second. I, I okay. have no you, focus problem. Okay, okay. Go. You had Go. two drinks of vodka, correct? Go. I'm, at, I'm talking to you now. You had two drinks of vodka, mixed drink, correct? Yeah. Two hours ago is what you were saying? I don't know. You. That's it was a party. Okay, you don't know. It was you. a party over in the... I'm, I'm listening to you. So after you had drinks, you got it behind your wheel of your car and you drove, right? I like it. Please. Ma'am, I'm asking you a question. Let me go home. I'm a teacher. I work at the high school. Let me go home. I'm not letting you I drive didn't here. do a bad thing. I'm telling you. I... All right, ma'am. Right now, I don't believe that you have the capability of driving a motor vehicle on the roadway. Oh, my God. Would you like to perform some exercises? No, I wouldn't. Okay, so. I got nothing to prove for you. All right, so I'm going to let you know right now. If you deny doing these exercises, you could be placed under arrest and they can go get you criminal. I know. I know. So I'm letting you know if you refuse to do the exercises, Please you can be placed. All right, ma'am. When you're done talking, I'll talk. Please let me go. Ma'am, when you're Please. done, when you're done talking, I'll talk for you. Let me go. God. We're past that. Yeah, we're really past that. Oh my God. <laughs> ma'am, I'm gonna ask you oh one more God. time. I'm gonna encourage that you do the exercises to either disprove or prove that you are intoxicated or not. I am not intoxicated. Okay, so I'm gonna I give you. I swear to God, I just want to go home with my child. Okay, and do go you want to do the exercises the or not? What? What do you want me to do? You're gonna perform some exercises. Oh my God! If you don't want to do it, that's fine. I'm not gonna force you to do it. <laughs> I just want to take my child home. With I need to know me. what you want to do, ma'am. God, I'm not. Okay, do me a favor, turn around. Oh my god. Turn around, put your hand in my back. Put your no, hand in my back. No, 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 oh my god. Put your stop. hand. Don't resist. Stop. Put your hands oh behind god. your back. Stop. You don't have to do this. Hey, get your cuffs out. I got it. Get your cuffs. Get your cuffs out. Oh don't listen, don't worry. Okay. They're just putting her in handcuffs right now, okay? Because she's obviously been drinking. Yeah. They're trying to calm her down, but she's rowdy. So, you don't have to worry about it. Right now, they're just. Trying to calm her down, but she's, you know, she, when you drink, it kind of gives you a... <laughs> now you just call her physician in charge. Oh Good God. job. <laughs> if you turn around, you're going to be playing on the hood again. You hear me? Oh, my God. <laughs> do not do anything other than what you're told to do. You understand? <laughs> Need light? No. <laughs> All right. Do me a favor. My baby. I understand. No, you don't understand. <laughs> Please. Ma'am. No. You gotta come over to my car. I don't wanna have to drag you. I'm actually nice. Can you walk over here? I don't wanna do that. Please, let me go. And your son's right there. I don't wanna do that in front no. of your son either. Can you walk over here? Yes, of okay, course I can. Okay, let's walk. Let's walk. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, we're just south of that. You uh, here. come down here. Back seat of my car. Oh my god. Have a seat. Back seat of my car. Oh my god. Have a seat, ma'am. Ma'am, I please do this. Oh I don't want to force you in the backseat of the car. Just, can you have a seat? Watch it. Watch your head. Oh my God. <laughs>
With his mother officially in custody, officers do the best they can to comfort the traumatised boy and get him home where he will be safe. Unfortunately, his mother is going to make that even more challenging for him. <laughs> your mom's in the backseat of our car, right? Yeah. Do you have somebody, uh, your I, father? Larry called uh, his my, my... Okay, so what happened tonight? So we were coming back from our friend's house and coming down and then I said, I saw her car and I told her to slow down and it was like the, at the last second she started to go on the brakes and I, I thought she would see it. All right. Open the door! All right, so as long as you're good, I just want to make sure you're good, okay? I'm concerned about you, okay? Stay, stay right here, okay? I don't want you to get... I just went into the front of my car and I can smell it. Like, Lisa. I'm hot right now, too. Oh, God, please talk to me. Why are you screaming? I'm, what you, I'm worried about. I won't talk to you please, until you calm down. Please talk to me. I will not talk. Act like an adult for two I'm seconds. I'm an adult for two seconds. Um, so, so far, I'm going to charge it with uh, resisting. I'm sorry about what happened tonight, buddy. I, I really am. Um, I don't want to. I don't want you to be here. And I don't want you to get hurt at the same time. She's really drunk and she could have hurt you. She could... Right now, I'm more, I'm more worried about you getting hurt than me. Right? Because I already lived life to a certain point. You're smart, man. And I appreciate you telling, stepping up. That's a big move you did. Um, I told her to stop it. I understand. You were scared, right? Okay. Dude, that killed, that killed my heart. It, it, it really killed me too, man. Dude, that killed like... Yeah. yeah, that's why I'm coming over to talk to you. I really feel bad right now about you. For you. Really, I really do. Because you could be one of my kids. Right? And you're, you're a smart dude, man. Oh, my God. I haven't done anything. All right, I'm out of here. Yep. Please. Please. Oh, my God, please. I swear to God, I can't do anything wrong. Please. I swear to God. Please, let me get my baby. Please. Traumatized. Please. Ma'am. No, Ma'am, whatever you're alleging now, please. you can take it up in, in no, court. Please. Okay. Please. I work at the high school. I'm a teacher. Please. Ma'am, you don't have let to. Ma'am, please. Please. Ma'am, ma'am, please. please. No, please. do me a favor. Do me a favor. We're past that. No. We're going to the jail now. Okay. Kirsten Wiley was arrested for driving under the influence, child and resisting arrest. At the police station, she blew a point two two eight, more than double the legal limit. Her son may have been old enough to prevent the worst from happening, but the next child on our list was a mere infant. And it's not his first time being in the care of law enforcement. This is just a circus. All I want was the kid to get some clothes and get changed. What you you guys I'm couldn't going? even do that. On June 25, 2019, 28-year-old Yajara Tirado and 25-year-old Jacob Kruger were fast asleep in their trailer in Oak Park, Florida. What they didn't know what that outside, a Volusia County Sheriff's officer was desperately looking for them because their two-year-old son, clad in nothing but a diaper, had wandered out onto a busy highway. Volusia County Sheriff's Department raced to the scene. A mail carrier had spotted the bug-bitten child wandering across the treacherous freeway with no parents in sight. Okay. Yeah. Who's? Did they we find? Know. No. I, found I just them. pulled over. I okay. found the man. My heart is about to jump on my They back. were walking in the road. Yes, this baby. He actually. Oh, I know where. He, I know where he is. I think I'm pretty sure. I know which one. He's from that one right there. Oh, good. I'm pretty sure. I hope so. Hey, buddy. I don't know. If you want to come to me, or are you good with her? Oh, look at this you. Awful. All right, let's go. Let me hang tight. Can you pull over here for me yeah. one second? I think I remember this guy. Poor little man. You, does he say anything to you? The deputy had, in fact, visited the same family just a year earlier. In 2018, one of the toddlers had called 911. When deputies raced to the house, they found two small children left alone with an aggressive dog and an unsecured shotgun. Then, like now, Tirado and Kruger were nowhere to be seen. As tragic as the repetition of this neglect is, it did provide the deputy with a clue. Their car. 
Gotcha. Oh Jesus gotcha. Christmas. <laughs> Give me one. Just hang tight for me one second and I'll get all your information. Is this where you live? You live here? Do you live here? Yeah. That's where you live? How'd you get out? Is this where you came from? See my blue lights, buddy? Look at that. We're gonna we're gonna sit in that car actually. Can you hang tight with him while I pull my car over here and we can he can sit in the back of my car for a second? Absolutely is. Come here. Hey little man. Oh, you poor little diaper. Absolutely. Let me pull my car in here. I'm pretty I had to I had to pull over. I had to. No, absolutely. Where was he walking? He was just walking right here? Yeah, get ready to walk into the intersection. And I'm just coming from Lisa Murray for my doctor's appointment. Okay. It's freaking me out. Would you mind giving me a written statement about what exactly what happened? Okay, give me I one second. I definitely will. After receiving no answer at the child's house, the deputy goes on to take statements from the women. What he saw at the house, however, means that he can't bring the child anywhere near there again. According to a report, the yard was littered with broken bottles, and inside the home, there were several bottles and knives within the child's reach. Instead, the deputy opts to keep the child somewhere safe while he waits for the parents to emerge. You're a godsend today. Yes. Go ahead. Um, you want to send the back of my car real quick? In the in the blue with the blue lights on, we'll put the blue lights on. All right. Man, poor baby. Woo! Look at you, man. I know it's so cool. Right? Look at you. All right. You can. You want to sit in your in your car? Okay, Go ahead. Yeah, where it's nice and cold, great. and I'll hang out here with Thank him. You. What's up, little man? You like it in here? Woo! Boom! Push it. Look at that. Where's your mom at? Where's your mom? Where's your mom? Where's your dad? Hey. All right? Hey. You are full of bug bites. It's a charm. Yeah, that's that's my uh, traffic vest, so I don't get run over by cars, you know? Kind of like what we almost having to you. Oh no, the car is rocking. <laughs> It's a hot one out here, ain't it? Woo! Woo, look at that! Push it! Is that one on too? Nope, push it. Boom! <laughs> look at that. Put you! Oh, get that mosquito. You don't need any more mosquito bites on you, buddy. Slapping down these mosquitoes, buddy. Get off of him. Do you do high fives? You do knuckles? Oh, high five. Down low? Good. On primary, go ahead. We gotta try to find your mom and dad. Or somebody. Where they at? Where'd the mom go? Up there. That that's not your mom. Where's your mom? I see a hat. Ah, uh, that's my hat. Give me that hat back, boy. Come on. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. I can't see. That's my hat. Ah, give me that hat. Give me that. Boop. At last, the parents emerge, seemingly unbothered. According to the deputy, when he peeked inside the home, he could see them passed out and frothing at the mouth, indicating that they were under the influence. Do you recognize me? No. You don't recognize me? I was here last time when this happened. You remember that? Yeah. And your son today was in the street, walking out on US-1, and luckily some nice ladies saw him and stopped before he got smushed by a friggin' car. You know, what were you guys doing in there? We were just sleeping. Just sleeping? Yeah. Can we get him a new diaper on? His diaper is really soiled. 
When another officer arrives, the deputy details what he saw inside the house. You can look at it, obviously, but it's disgusting. Like, I didn't even want to walk in there, but I wanted to make sure there wasn't another kid in there. Is this the same kid or a different one? No, it's the same kid. It's the same kid that called us last time. He's got a younger sister, I think. She's with the grandparents. So we're going to need to call DCF or the grandparents. Step out of the car for me. Come here. Come on. Step out of the car. Put your hands behind your back. I've had enough of this without both of you. What? Is she getting arrested? You both are getting arrested. So for, get your kid dressed. For, for what? Child. Why? Come on. What do you mean, why? why? Have a seat in the back of my car. Okay, I've had enough please. of you guys. Sit in the back. Get in there. Please, please, why? What do you mean, why? Can, can, sit sit can, in the back of the car. Slide in the car now. Sir. Poor parenting. Add that one to the list. Yes, yeah. Turn around. Come here. You, you're next. For what? Why am, I, your back. Why, why am I getting arrested? Child, put your hands behind your back. What, what did I do, though? What did you do? It's what about you didn't do. You didn't watch your kid. Your kid's out in the road. This is a history with you two. I mean, this is just a, a circus. All I want was the kid to get some clothes and get changed. What do you you guys couldn't even doing? do that. What do you think I was doing? Around, that's what you were doing. I was putting clothes on. This is not fair at all. It's not fair. Yeah, it's not fair to your son. That's what it's not fair to you. Have a seat. It's, it's to, they're letting him eat old McDonald's that's like 10 years old. They can't get him clothes. He's walking around with his glass everywhere. You know, this is just ridiculous. My patience is, is done with these two. Gerardo and Kroeger were both charged with child neglect and a $5,000 bond was set. Their son was placed in the custody of the Department of Children and Families with the hope that he would not be able to be put in harm's way by his parents again. Enjoyed the video? Remember to hit that subscribe button. Also, here are two more videos that we're pretty sure you're going to love.